in these problems we have some graphs of trigonometric functions and we're supposed to match these graphs to one of these six equations here. So how are we going to do that? Well, first I think we need to know something about the basic shapes of these trigonometric functions. We've got up here cosecant, cotangent, tangent, secant. Those are our options. And the tangent and the cotangent are going to look like these first two with the arms that go flying off to infinity and negative infinity with the asymptotes in between. Uh, the secant or cosecant are going to look like these, these, uh, these kind of bumps that go shooting up and shooting down. So we can know that this one is probably a secant or a cosecant, and these two are either cotangent or tangent. And then I think the best thing to do is just pick a point and see if it works in our likely candidates. Uh, here we have the point where x is 1 and y is 0. So we could just put that into our equations and sort of evaluate it with what we know from the unit circle. I'm just going to draw a quick unit circle here just um, to help us out. There's 0. And just so we know the, the um, coordinates here, this is where x is 1 and y is 0. Remember the sine is the y coordinate and cosine is the x coordinate. I'm going to put pi over 2 here because it looks like we're going to use that in a lot of these. And here the coordinates are uh, 0 on the x and 1 on the y. OK, so that'll help us keep this straight. Let's start with this, this x value of 1. And let's um, plug it into our first either cotangent or tangent. Here we go, the negative cotangent of pi x over 2. If we put 1 in for x, we've got the cotangent of pi over 2. So at pi over 2, the sine is 1 and the cosine is 0. So let's look at our cotangent function. We know the cosine goes on top and the sine goes on the bottom. So 0 would go on top, 1 would go on the bottom. So we'd get a value of 0 here. Uh, and then we'd take a negative 0. That's still 0. So we would get the point 1, 0. That works. So this looks like a likely candidate uh, for this one. We might want to test this value of 1 in these other two candidates, though, just to make sure. So if I put 1 into this tangent of pi x minus pi over 2, we'd get pi uh, minus pi over 2. That would be pi over 2. The tangent of pi over 2, well, a tangent is sine over the cosine. Here, the cosine is 0. So this is going to be undefined at that point where x is 1. And it's definitely not undefined here. That's not where an asymptote is. So it's not going to be this tangent. Let's try this one here. If we put 1 in here, we get the tangent of pi over 2 again. Same as up here. So it can't be that one. It's got to, by a process of elimination, be this one. All right, let's try this guy here. Uh, looks a little bit different. We've got the point um, where x equals 1 half and y equals 0. So let's see if we can deal with that. I, I know it's not this negative cotangent because that's this one down here, and the graphs look quite a bit different. So let's, let's try it in this one. If I put in 1 half for x, I'm going to get pi over 2 minus pi over 2. That would be the tangent of 0. And tangent is sine over cosine. At 0, the sine is 0, the cosine is 1. That'd be 0 over 1, or 0. And that's what we have here, the point 1 half 0. So it could be this one. Let's try this uh, guy here. Here, if we put in 1 half for x, we get pi over 2 over 2. Well, that's pi over 4. The tangent of pi over 4, so that's right here. That's where you have the square root of 2 over 2 and the square root of 2 over 2. So the tangent is actually the value 1. So our point would be 1 half 1 on this graph, and it's not. It's 1 half 0. So this one looks like the one that works there. All right, let's go to our last one here. This is the one that looks like either a, a, a secant or a cosecant. And I think this point right here would be a likely one to take. It's the point 0, 2. So x is 0. Let's put in 0 for x. If we do that, we've got the cosecant of 0. So, well, 2 times the cosecant of 0. So what's the cosecant? It's 1 over the sine. At 0, the sine is 0. So that puts a, a 0 on the bottom of the fraction. So it should be undefined there. So that doesn't seem to work. Let's try this secant here. Uh, so if we put in 0 for x there, we've got the secant of 0. Well, the secant is 1 over the cosine. At 0, the cosine, the x value is 1. 
So this comes out to be 1 times 2, so that gives us a value of 2, and that's exactly what we've got here, the point 0, 2. So that last one is this equation right there. Of course, if you've got a graphing calculator, you could just plug these in and see what they match. Uh, but uh, in this case, just testing a point seems to work out pretty well. So that's how to match graphs for equations of uh, secant, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent functions.